All right, OSU Busy. took advantage of some bad Baylor defense, and let's take a look at some of the highlights. Baylor in first place coming in, the Bears leaving in second. It's OSU now atop the Big 12 South. Justin Blackman is back, touchdown helping OSU that 17 nothing advantage. Now, each time Baylor tries to get back in the game, OSU's D comes up big. The fumble near the first down marker, and OSU gets it back. Kendall Hunter with two one-yard touchdowns. Here's one of those. 24 nothing at this point, and the Romp is on. Again, Baylor deep in OSU territory. Griffin's pass picked off in the end zone by Johnny Thomas. 24-0 OSU at the half. And to begin the third quarter, right off the bat, the reverse to Blackman. Blackman breaks loose, and he goes the distance. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. 31-0 early in the third. Your final, 55-28. OSU with a school record, 725 yards of offense. Whedon, three TD passes, 34 completions, 433 yards. Caden with a post game from Stillwater. Al, the Cowboys take over first place in the Big 12 South, and they do it with the team's most complete performance of the year. Offensive fireworks put this thing away, but the 55-28 route of Baylor all started with defense. Defense was excellent. I thought that uh, as good as the offense was, I thought the defense was even better in the first half. Against the nation's eighth-ranked offense and one of its most dangerous quarterbacks, the Pokes D forces three first-half turnovers and holds the Bears scoreless for the first 38 minutes. I mean, we came out as a group like... Like, we never came out before. Uh, it was important. Coach preached all week that we had to set the tone. We had to do something to uh, get the, the fans going. So we, uh, we forced that turnover early, and it just it worked for us to, uh, throughout the game. Offensively, with Justin Blackman back, OSU again unstoppable. 725 total yards, a school record 428 passing for Brandon Whedon. It's, a, it's an honor. You know, just to be uh, mentioned with those guys that had the records before, it's an honor. Um, but I, I really, truly, I, I tested to those guys that made plays, you know, with the ball in their hands. Uh, uh, they played great all day. It was one of those days, John, where everything worked. So obviously there was a good plan and the players bought in and things just worked. And sometimes that happens. And when that happens, it's usually a pretty good day. So it is November and the Cowboys still control their Big 12 title destiny. Three games to go and it all starts against the defending Big 12 champion, Texas, next week in Austin. From here in Stillwater, where the Cowboys route Baylor 55-28, Caden McFarland, 2 News, works for you. Caden, 